Hi, this is David Reed Brown, and welcome to another installation of Magic Tech. Remote control of music during a magic show has long been uh, a hobby of mine, a passion of mine, for about the last 12 years. There have been a lot of products on the market that claim to do this, but really to do it well, you've had to spend maybe $1,600, uh, $900. Uh, there are a couple of products now recently that sell for four or five hundred dollars. I haven't seen reviews of them yet. Um, now we have a wonderful new application, a program, an app written for Apple iOS. It's called Show Cues. Show Cues you can download uh, from an iPhone or an iPod Touch or an iPad uh, for sixty dollars. Now compared to other programs that you download for an iPhone, you might say, gee, that's pretty expensive. But it's worth its weight in gold, and $60 for this is a bargain. You can get an iPod Touch off of the Apple Store website, refurbished with a new warranty, a like new product, for $129. There is also a hardware remote created by the same company that makes iJet remotes for um, Apple iOS devices. They're top-notch. I haven't tested the remote, but uh, it's worth looking up Carl Andrews' website for the Show Cues application uh, for that information. Let me show you how it works. When it loads up, you can select songs. I just like using uh, a playlist that I've created inside iTunes. You don't have to use that. You can just select songs from your own library on your phone. I'm going to click on Magic Show and say Add All Songs, and then I'm done. I press Done a couple times, and that's it. I will, might plug this into a sound system with a wire, or I might use Bluetooth and use a, a wireless Bluetooth speaker especially if I have you know a smaller crowd under a hundred people the, the Jawbone Big Jam Box is a really great product for that now all I do to play is I turn it sideways and there it is there's a countdown timer of my show you can see I've been recording before my show is in three minutes long uh, the actual time you can turn that feature on and then it shows the name of my track that I'm playing the Harry Potter prologue and then down here is a cue that I have programmed in. You can show cues. This function is a little bit better on the iPad simply because you have more space on the iPad. Um, one touch and that goes away. That was reminding me to check my microphone once I get to the venue and set up so that my wireless microphone doesn't feed back or so that I don't have dead spots. To play, all I do is press play right there. Now the red button is going. It shows that it's playing. And now say I am done with this particular track or routine. I just tap over here, and it automatically fades away. It cues up the next track and waits in pause. You'll notice right here that it shows, I have it set to show the next track that it's going to play. Down here is a countdown timer for that particular track. I can also make it count up. That's basically it to this app. There are a bunch of settings that are in here that you can control um, in terms of the cues uh, and other features. One of the best, though, is a preset for the volume level that I find very handy, depending on the venue that I'm in. That's all for now. I highly recommend this software program uh, called ShowQ, $60 on iTunes. All the best. I'm David Reed Brown. Bye-bye.